Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Scorchlands. Let's see, what did we do last episode? Last episode, we built three colonies. So we've got a little colony here. First one, I've renamed, renamed this one to Glider Tabletville. Kind of corny. Oh, let's see here. Our new advertisement campaign is working wonders for colonist immigration rates. Come to Scorchlands. Experience our beautiful magma springs and vistas with your close ones. Okay, a little bit of humor there. Yeah, we started one colony here. It was mining stone. We were turning that into slabs and then turning those slabs into stone tablets, which is what we need for research. And so you can see that up here in the top left, we've only got like two and a half surplus tablets right now. And then we unlocked a new biome and in building this desert biome, it's cool. You can kind of see the heat waves here. Pretty sweet. That wiped out. That really changed the land. Besides just putting sand here, it wiped out um, a bunch of stone deposit that we were mining. And so then our stone tablet production just kind of ground down to almost zero. And we need those stone tablets for the tech tree. So we spawn up another colony over here. This is what, Glider Stone 1, <laughs> just to mine stone. And we're beaming that over to our first colony and we're still, we took out all the stone mines but we have all the processing to create tablets still in place. So that colony is just building stone tablets out of stone. And we're importing the stone over from glider stone one over here. And then this colony is actually mining ether, turning that into dusty essence. And we sent that into our nexus here. And that's, what's allowing us to do the terraforming. So what we need to do now, we need to start mining our new biome because there's some unique resources in here, but we've got some enemies to contend with. These are uh, giant insects in the bottom right. It says we could ride those if they weren't oversized bringers of doom bugger. But in order to battle those, I think we need to unlock a little bit of research here. I could be wrong, but we've got this thing right here called unit deployment is control a troop to assist you in defeating enemies. I think we, we need that and we get maximum deployed units plus one. I think we need that. We're short on stone tablets. So we need to ramp up stone tablet production. If we look at our map view, there's a bunch more stone over here so we can set up a new colony here, mine stone, or we could do it down here even or over here. <clears throat> Why don't we, it looks like there's the most available right here. I'm thinking of setting up another colony over here somewhere, mine all the stone, and we might be able to just beam it through glider stone one over to tabletville there. And then we can scale up the, uh, the stone slab production and the, um, stone tablet production. So let's do that. Let's see if we can set up another colony. Walk my little guy over here. We might even be able to pick up more of this essence if we need it. Let's go to colony manager or and new colony. Cost us just two people. We've got 16 available. We still haven't figured out what this Omega fluid is going to be used for. Cause it's used for creating and maintaining special buildings, but uh, I don't, I don't know what those special buildings are just yet. Let's keep moving here. Let's get this colony kind of Maximize the perimeter that's next to stone. That's not so great. I lose. If I go right up next to the stone, I lose a spot, but I gain a spot. Let's do right here. Confirm. New colony. Let's get to mining that stone. We can only do it right next to, uh, Right next to the hillside here. That one didn't place where I wanted it. That guy out. All right, stone. You, you, you. And I think we can upgrade. Let's see what, oh no, they're not gonna let us increase the radius. Can't access this option. Oh, let me get inside the colony borders. For one more population, we can increase the radius. I think I'm going to go for it. That's going to get us, I think, maybe two more stone mines. 
boom. So let's do that stone here. Stone here. And then I'm going to see if we can just beam straight over to here. And just send that through rather than creating a separate uh, logistics channel. Let's uh, let's see if we can leverage the existing one. I'm just going to beam it. Uh, can I? I'm going to have to use... Oh, no. We got one spot right here. We can beam straight. Let's do it. More logistics. Very little laser. Point this guy the way we want it. Boom. Another one here to receive. Boom. Let's set this to stone. Boom. Okay, that should start doing its thing. And hopefully all that stone is getting sent through. 31. Let's just see what it says here. Okay, availability is 23. Supply is 30. We're importing 24. Exporting 30. 31. But I want to export. Let me just see here. We're importing 24 into this town, into Gliderstone. And we're supplying 30. So we've got 54.5 that we're supplying, but we're only exporting 31. Let's see if we can export more here. I just do max. Transfer the maximum possible. I'll click that once. Okay, and that is now sending all the stone across to our town over here. Glider tablet bill. And now these guys should have a surplus. Let's see. Availability 20.5. Yeah. So let's uh, put down some more stone processing. I wonder if we should be leveraging houses. Boost the production of some buildings, some walls and roof. Hmm. Like this shows what it affects. I wonder if we should put a row of houses here and then some more production buildings. Let's try it. See what we get before we place the house. Right now we've got a surplus of 20.5 stone there in the bottom room left. Let's see if that goes down when we place just a house. If it does actually, if we're actually increasing the productivity of these buildings. Uh, let's see. Yeah, one's the laser. What did that do? Yeah, 19.5. So just the houses are helping quite a bit. Okay, we've got 16.5 surplus. Let's keep doing houses. We're getting a pretty decent sized bonus for everybody. Okay, we still have 14 available. Let's now drop lab buildings over here. Maybe one more, not that. One more slab building. One more. And then we need some more stone tablet cutters. We've got 25 surplus on the slabs. So let's get this down. We should start seeing our research climbing. Nice. Or our stone tablets climbing that we can use for research. About a home over here. Okay, we've only got a surplus of three stone slabs. I'm going to put down another tablet building, and then that should exhaust our supply. Yeah, we're now down seven on the slabs. But our research is up to 26. That is good. Let's unlock the unit deployment. That takes six. Control a troop to assist you in defeating enemies. Unlock that guy. And then 15. Oh, man. This gets us one more unit. Let's see if we can get by without it. If we come over here, pop up top, the 
deploy a unit. Let's see what <laughs> let's see what happens. It looks like I only have one. Uh, uh, is this guy going to be able to do much? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, he's getting knocked back. Uh, let's see. We could ride these if they weren't buggered. I'm not sure what it's going to take to knock these guys out. I'm guessing we need three attack skill, maybe, or up armored guys. So let's recall everybody. That's the V key. We'll give up on that battle for now. And let's look at the tech tree here. See what our options are. Doesn't look like much. Okay, we, we can upgrade our colony limit. That's not our issue. We want to battle. These have been unlocked. Terraforming. Metal processing. That's going to take eight. I think we're going to need that, right? Here's the arcane metal. Arcane dust. We need that for our mission. 550 arcane metal. We don't have the ability to research both the unit cap upgrade, which is going to cost us 15, and the metal, which is going to cost us 8, because we've only got 20. Hmm, without first ramping up. Let's see, can I harvest anything out of here? Or do I need a colony? All right, let's see. Steep slopes and soaring peaks promise great mining opportunities. It just says mountain. Endless piles of tiny quartz bliss. That's these desert tiles. Right now, I'm just trying to think how we're going to produce this arcane metal. Could be we need to unlock the tech tree first to even get the, uh, the clues on that. So let's... Uh, Let's unlock metal processing. Process eight. And let's look at our buildings here. It might just be a bloodstone. Bloodstone mining. No mining facility. It's not much, but it's honest work. Possible products are all that. A mountain. Okay, these are the bonuses. Mine shaft, nor mining facility, it's not much, but sounds work. I think we need to be near the mountain to do this. Or maybe can we set up another colony here and use that new mine to do what we need to do. I don't think we can fight these guys off. Let's take a look at our building options while we're in town. Is there anything new? Can't produce glass. All right. Chief, we did some tests on the metal alloy from the desert. It's alien in nature because it's from the moon. And is resistant to magic energies. Makes for good magic proof tools and weapons. Okay, a couple little hints there, I guess. We're definitely in tier two. Nothing new in logistics. Nothing unlocked for altars tab. Can't produce combat gear yet. And we cannot produce this, whatever this guy is. Hmm. I'm wondering if we should we got a couple options. One is try for this unit cap upgrade. It gets us one extra little soldier that we could deploy and try and take on these guys. It's possible that would work. I don't know what the little four, three, and three are. Obviously, three looks like the this one on the right looks like defense. That looks like attack. Maybe that's health. But what does that mean in relation to us? Does that mean that we need to have more attack skill to take these guys out? Just don't quite know how it works. Let's try summoning one more guy over here. 
Okay, so even when we surround this this one, we cannot take him out. Hmm. Whoops. Recall our soldier. Let's get another colony going. And then we'll see how far we can get before we need to uh, unlock that research to get us one more soldier. I think one more soldier might do it, might actually help. But it could be this metal processing is going to allow us to get to where we can actually armor up our people in that. So let's see how far we get if we get attacked. I'll learn as we go. New colony. And let's put it near this mess. Boom. Burn. Hopefully these uh, little insects won't come screaming at us. We'll find out. Okay, we're exposing more of the map, it looks like. Let's now see if we can do some mining at Tier 2. I'm guessing. Are we getting resource now? Okay, we're getting bloodstone. These need to be right next to the hillsides here. Okay. And I'm guessing they don't reach, right? Let's grab one more and just see. Yeah, it won't reach. So that is the max bloodstone that we can mine. We want to eventually get to arcane metal and that needs to go. We need to um, route that arcane metal once we figure out how to produce it all the way back to the Nexus. Which isn't too far. That may not be too bad. All right, let's see what's next in the production chain. I'm guessing it's the soul stone, void stone, arcane dust, arcane metal. Let's see what arcane metal needs. Arcane metal wants the dust and coal. Oh man, where are we gonna get coal? Maybe we can manufacture it. Okay, arcane dust. We've got bloodstone. Arcane dust. Takes void stone, soul stone, and bloodstone. You know what? Okay, so we need three different types of mines. We got a bunch of bloodstone mine. We need to get a void stone mine down. Let's see if that is a hillside thing too. It is. I think we might need to... We could place another colony, kind of speed things up, and have a colony just doing the uh, that second material. This... This void stone. Oh, coal. Same thing? No. Coal is found in the grasslands. Okay, firelands, fields. Fields. Now I'm just looking at the where we can get the coal that we're gonna need. Can I actually mine that? Okay, we just need a forest a forest tile in order to get coal. That is probably we saw some trees earlier on the map. Let's uh, look at the map, see if we can see those a little easier. There's some trees here. That's probably where we're going to end up getting our coal. You can see the nature of the game kind of taking shape and revealing itself here. Lots of logistics, finding resource deposits, setting up colonies to mine those, and then routing those materials to where they're needed. So we're going to need to set up a colony here, most likely. Produce coal, and then we'll have to beam that through where we need it. Which is probably going to be somewhere out this way. If we work our way back, we know we need to supply 50 arcane metal 
to the Nexus. For that, we're going to need Arcane Dust and Coal. We just looked at kind of coal. We know we're going to need to get that from trees. And then the Arcane Dust we saw needs to be produced from three different deposits. Void Stone, Soul Stone, Blood Stone. We've got the Blood Stone going. Let's do the Void Stone and set up a colony to mine that here. How are we doing on people? We got 12. Let's try it. See where we can get the most tiles. It doesn't look too bad. Can't place a colony here. Too close to unclaimed terrain. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'm exposing too much of the map too fast. How about right there? Confirm. I think these are still two separate colonies, even though they're touching. But we'll find out. Oh, I can just click here, through here, too. Okay, let's grab the Void Stone. I don't know if you just saw that. Let me show that, since we're learning the game here. Here's the recipe for the Arcane Metal. Arcane Dust, Coal. All we gotta do is click one of these ingredients. Boom. And now it takes me to what I need. And I need Void Stone. If I click that... Boom. Here's the Void Stone mine. So let's make this whole town... Void Stoneville. Okay. I want one more town to do the third ingredient. Let's do that. Let's get another colony going. We got Bloodstone. We got Voidstone. We need the last one. Soul stone. Point. Again, we can use houses to kind of amp up the production on all this stuff too. Probably makes a lot of sense to do. Now we got our three stones. We can make the arcane dust. We gotta find out where we want to do it. Could be in one of these existing towns, or we could just beam all those raw resources to a new town. Then we'll just need to get the coal and we'll be good to go. Uh, let's see, where do we want to do arcane dust? If we did it in a town, it probably makes sense to do it in this middle one. Beam. Okay, we are looking for new recruits to combat the volcanic monstrosities. We have the spires, we have the weapons. I'm not going out there. Okay. Again, a little more humor. Let's see. I know we're going to want, or I think we're going to want houses all along here to maximize our production. That's not going to leave a lot of room for manufacturing the sub void dust or arcane dust. Hmm. And we're eventually going to want to beam the final products here. So we don't want to crowd the Nexus probably too much. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Let's get the map view. Maybe it's a little easier to see. Okay, here's our nexus. I don't want to crowd that out too much. Here's our three stones. We need resources from all these three areas to create a new product. Hamlet built. Um... Let's set up a new colony somewhere over this way. We can beam maybe from here to here and from here to here and then beam resources to our new colony. All those. Oh, I'm, can I only beam one resource at a time? I don't know. Just kind of thinking here how we want to do this. Kind 
kind of where I want the last manufacturing to be over here. Hmm. Not quite sure how I want to do it. Let's just forge ahead and we'll make do. New colony over here. Anywhere. Guess we could borrow that stone. And I want to make sure I can... I can always use mirrors. So how about... Here. Oops. Confirm that. And I want to beam resources over there. So from here, get back into this town. Let's set up some logistics. And a laser going straight into this guy. Boom. And then from this town, we want to get resources out of here as well. Let's see. Can we... That's not going to reach. That one will. For you to you. And then this one, we might need to do a little turn. A mirror in order to get our resources where we want. Or we could grow the radius. <laughs> we could grow this town. Let's see. Can we grow this one? Or did we already do it? Upgrade the colony radius. Ah, uh, potentially even destroying their buildings. Oh, interesting. I don't want to destroy their buildings. Let's leave it the way it is, and we'll do a mirror. But basically, from within here, I want a mirror somewhere. Almost a little bit of a bummer, because we're going to take up some space to do this. How about... Mirror here. Logistics laser. There. And then we'll tilt this guy. To shoot into our new town. This is going to be a big manufacturing city over here. In fact, this one might be worth growing. Let's do it. And we just need a receiving laser here. Okay. And now we just need to set these lasers up to actually transmit something. So we'll send in the soul stone. We'll go here, send in the blood stone. And here we will send in the void stone. Here's to me, we could push these guys out. Can I move easy? Left mouse button drag. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that. A little better. And now we want to produce. We want to do a couple things, actually. One, we want to make sure we can laser into this guy. Hmm. Let's produce our goods first. So over at tier two, first thing we need is the arcane dust. Let's plunk down some of these. I think they can go pretty much anywhere. I'm putting them kind of far out. This one I can move because I'm planning on putting houses like in the middle. Let's see what our supplies are over here. We've got extra bloodstone. We've got extra soul stone. And we've got a little bit of extra void stone. The okay, arcane dust we are producing. Now we need to get coal into this town somehow. Got the arcane dust. Now we need to get coal into this town. Let's see if we can figure that out. Let's go to the map view. Trees, we gotta get coal all the way over here. We could route through other towns and try that. 
basically see if we can transmit more than one resource per laser. I have a feeling we can't. Whoa. Sorry for that. I don't even know what that what happened there. Let's see. Okay, this town has three resources. I just want to experiment with something and see if I can use a laser to send multiple resources. I'm pretty sure we can't. Maybe that's an upgrade. Does it say here? Take a look at this one real quick. Yeah, I think we can only pick one. Technology 2 required to transfer in both directions at once. Yeah, but I don't think you can ever transmit more than one resource. So that's going to impact our design a little bit. We need dedicated lasers for each material. All right. At least early on. Once we unlock new tech, that may change. So I need to get coal in here. We need to produce coal. Back to the map. We want to go up here, I guess. That looks like our only opportunity to produce coal. And then maybe we can transfer it through Glider Tabletville with a couple lasers. But we need to get we need to get way over to where that is. Let's see if we can do it. There's the trees in the distance. We need to produce coal over here. We may need to move some buildings. Oh man, I'm not sure how we're going to route this yet. Let's see if we can build another one. We're down to six people. Or six uh, population. Not sure how we get more population. Maybe that's in here. I don't think the houses do it. I think those are just bonuses. All right, let's try it. New colony. And we need to be near the trees. That looks kind of smartish. We're not going to be able to grow this colony without hurting the others. That's not bad. This would allow us to grow the colony. Hmm. Gets us a lot of access to the trees, a little bit of access to the water. Oh, I like that. Let's do this. Forest. I'm assuming this is forest. Yeah. So let's, uh, drop these down. I'm going to grow this. I know it's going to cost us a valuable. Maybe I shouldn't. We've only got four population left. That's two colonies. If I increase the radius of this one, that's going to cost us a whole ability to um, do a whole another colony. Oh man, this is a little snug in here though. We need to produce... Okay, these guys are producing coal. All right, good. I thought there was an intermediate production step. There isn't. Now we need to beam this where we need it. And it's going to be a bit of a trip. I think we can put lasers here. We're going to take out one of these guys. Let's go here. Will they let me build those in another colony? They do. Logistics. We're going to send coal through this other town. Boom. There's coal. We can scale up this stuff with the houses and everything. Every time we scale up, it looks like you do need to uh, double check the values here for the laser. So we'll maybe get to that, scaling things up. But let's just see if we can get a basic resource sent over there. And we need to go straight ahead. Let's see if there's a path for a laser to take. You might need a mirror. Uh, this is in our colony. We can go straight across that way. Let's do it. So, laser here, 
boom. And receiving laser here. Boom. And let's just send the coal that we're importing, all of it. Boom. Now, we're on the verge of producing the arcane metal that they want right here. We've got the arcane dust. We've got coal coming in. So let's set this up next episode. We'll put down the arcane metal factories and then we will route that into the, um, the nexus here. And then we'll need to figure out how to create arcane tablets. And using those arcane tablets, I'm guessing, is where we unlock terraforming too. Let's take a look at the tech tree. Not the map. Tech tree. Unlock terraforming 2 technology. Where could that be? Terraforming 2. Yeah, you can see there's a new resource here. The arcane tablets. Uh, will it show us what that takes? Once we do unlock terraforming 2, we'll get... Volatile Essence unlocked. Raw Altar allows crafting of advanced products placed between buildings. Place buildings in the area of an altar to enable their production. All right. Flux Altar and Life Altar. Okay, cool. Well, it's going to take us a while to get there. Laser Fast Travel. Glass Production. Performance Enhancing Potions. Unit Cap Upgrade. And then we've got combat gear here. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Let's see. Yeah, that takes 10 arcane tablets. Do these all take arcane tablets? They do. Let's see what that production is. Stone slabs. We've got some stone here. Stone slabs and arcane metal. And we can produce arcane tablets. Wow, we're going to need to scale that up pretty good, right? For all the research. So yeah, yeah, the game is starting to reveal itself. Lots of logistics and limited supply challenges. I like it. Let's pick it up next episode. For now, this is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series on Scorchlands and playing the demo. It's kind of early. And yeah, lots of fun. Also want to thank patrons and channel members. Really appreciate the support. Couldn't do this without your support. And I'll see everybody in the next episode.